Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Stadium Club Baseball 4-Box Random Team Break number 10. One spot gets you three teams in this 4-Box break and all card ship. A lot of great hits here, excellent photography, a lot of great stuff, really friendly price point too. Alright, so there's one, there's two, and there's three. Let's triple up that list. And we've got all the teams in right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Snake Eyes, two times, easy. One. And two. Got Heath down to Jacob. And then two times for the teams. Left eye and the right eye. Snake eyes. Twins down to the Red Sox. All right, now trades are allowed, if you'd like. Heath with the Twins, Emma with the Astros, Peter with the O's, Elliot with the Rockies, Michael with the Braves, Jeff with the Diamondbacks, Heath with the Pirates, Arthur with the Mets, Pascal with the Nationals, Elliot with the Cardinals, Jeff with the Tigers, Jacob with the Brew Crew, Michael P with the Rangers and Royals, Jeff with the Tribe, Arthur with the M's, Craig with the Giants and Marlins, Jacob with the Reds, Pascal, you got my Dodgers, Craig with the Angels, Elliot with the A's, Arthur with the Cubs, Emma with the White Sox, Peter with the Rays and the Padres, Pascal with the Phillies, Emma with the Bluebirds, Heath with the Yanks, and Jacob with the Bo Sox. All right, so let's sort this by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video, and here are the boxes right here. Just grab four random boxes from the back. Remember, I put those squigglies right there so we know they're from the same case. We're going to pause the video, give you a little bit of time to trade. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done here on a Thursday. And that's the final printout right here, hot off the presses. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action and for giving this a go. So I'm seeing Club 2 autographs in every box. And some of the box toppers may have... Uh, We've seen them with autographs as well. All right, let's see what we got in here. No auto, but there's a Mark McGuire box topper. Oakland A's edition going to Elliott. Right, that's pretty sweet. Ooh, and a Muncie Grand Slam. Nice, Dodgers 6-2, bottom of the fifth. Milwaukee up 32-12. Still early in the game. No Giannis for the Bucks. No Trey Young for the Hawks. Series tied. Hawks have missed 12 of their, uh, their last 13 field goals, it says. It's not good for my DraftKings lineup. I need to shoot better from the field. There's a combo. Good put back. All right, here's box one. Suns, Bucks, who wins? I don't know. It depends on the health of Giannis. If there's no Giannis. I think I think the Suns cruise. I think the Suns would probably be favorites anyway. Oh, there's a nice Joey Bart autograph to start things off. For my rivals, the Giants, Craig with the Giants. Catcher of the few. Oh, it's a one of one. Wow. Yeah, there's there's the the goldish 
gold kind of foil right there. Nice. Congrats to Craig and the Giants. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I think if, if Buster Posey wasn't kind of turning back the clock, you'd probably see more uh, probably see more Joey Bart. I think Joey Bart's hitting well in the minors, though. Stadium Chrome, Braylon Marquez. It's a one of one kind of night for me, I guess. I've been pulling a lot of those today. You can make a credit card design out of this right here. And there's Ken Griffey Jr. 81 out of 99 on that one. That looks pretty cool too. Some great photography there. That's going to go to Arthur and the Mariners. The Christian Pache black and white orange foil for the Braves. That's going to go to Michael P. It's right here, TJ. First autograph of the box, Joey Bart. One of one. I think gold rainbow or something like that. Yeah, I know. I, th I feel like this break probably takes an extra like 10 minutes just because all of these like flipping around, flipping the cards around, all, they all add up. All those added seconds. John Cruck autograph is your next one. Phillies. Pascal with the Philadelphia Phillies. This one's not numbered. I think this happens on the factory level. So, I don't know. Someone's, someone set all these cards up a little weird. There's Max Muncy, Oliver, saying that he hit a, hit a granny, Grand Slam, already. Sixto Sanchez for Craig and the Marlins. And a die cut, Bryce Harper, Phillies. Pascal with the die cut. I think maybe they originally wanted to have the autographs flipped around. But I don't know. Whoever was at the card packing machine or something like that. Must have ended up flipping the wrong ones around and then by the time they probably figured it out, they were just like, it's too late. Three quarters of it's already printed and packed. I'll just, we'll just have to deal with it. That's Cabrian Hayes. And a Jazz Chisholm. That's a cool shot. Right there, Ramon Laureano. It's a black foil for the A's, Elliot. And Jazz Chisholm for the Fish. It's Craig with the Marlins. Heath with the Pirates gets the Cabrian Hayes. And Nick Madrigal, who is off to a great start to his year before did his hamstring. Emma with the White Sox. All right, second box. There's Bryce Harper. 
that show hair flowing back there. No, no chain? Bryce Harper doesn't go with a show chain? Go that box hopper goes to the Phillies. Pascal. Rex's favorite John Truck memory was when Chris Farley played him on SNL. Right, I I have uh, the Crucky Randy Johnson All Star game at bat was pretty great. I think uh, Randy Johnson put one over his head, right, like at 100 miles per hour. It's like way over his head, but Cruck definitely ducked. Yeah, Hollywood has that same memory right there. I don't know if it was a wild pitch, Hollywood. I don't. I think that was intentional. I think he intentionally threw it over his head, just just to freak him out a little bit, just to goof a little bit. box. Yeah, there he is, speaking of Randy Johnson. That's an autograph, Adonis Medina. Rookie auto for the Phillies. That's called. That Adonis Medina autograph does look like, looks similar to CD Lamb. Went to the CD Lamb school of signatures. There's Triumvirate's die cut, Giancarlo Stanton, Heath with the Yankees. This time we got a numbered die cut. Ronald Acuna Jr. Orange parallel. That'll be for Michael and the Braves. Let's see what that number is. 20 out of 50. Nice. A catch. Nice catch, Dylan Carlson. Uh, 
And that will be for Elliot. And the Redbirds. I don't know if we can call this. There's the, the, the baseball is not in the frame. And your next autograph is Barry Zito. Oakland A's, Elliot with old Barry Zito. All right, well, the flag in the background looks it's pretty sharp, framed nicely there. Bobby Dalbeck. Matt Dalbeck will go to Jacob and the Red Sox. Give Jorge Soler the catch, right? Who was a who was that trio? Wasn't there a trio of of ace pitchers in that gen in that Barry Zito generation that was supposed to be like the next like Glavin, Smoltz, Maddox? kind of thing. There's Casey Mize as the box topper. Right, right, right. It was Zito. Was it Mark Mulder and Tim Hudson? There's Casey Mize for Jeff. I think even Van Poppel, I think. You're right, Rex. I think Van Todd Van Poppel was also talked about as you know, they're going to be like the next Big three on that rotation. The Mets had a had that too. Right, Hudson, Zito, Mulder, everyone's saying. Rich Harden. Oh, Rich Harden. And there was also some Mets youngsters that were supposed to be really good. Oh, was Van Poppel way before those guys? And it all just blends together. What about the Mets? Didn't the Mets have like this big, I th think they got, yeah, they had Pulsifer, Isringhausen, and they had a third guy for the Mets that was supposed to be like, this is the next, you know, next trio of amazingness and blah, 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> Sanford, Sanford saying that 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 Van Poppel rookie card was pretty sick. Rex remembers him on a cover with Beckett, Nolan Ryan, and Van Poppel. Wasn't there a third guy though, TJ? There was like Bill Pulsifer, Jason Isringhausen, and then there was a third guy. I think they made like a Sports Illustrated, and they're like, "This is the future." Yeah, sorry about that, Jimmy. But good news is you still have a shot at the uh, at the hundred dollars of break credit or the up to eight hundred dollars of break credit that we're giving away. So maybe a little consolation prize will end up with you. So you got another sh shot at redemption. And there's an autograph right there. That is Zach Birdie. Oliver's going to try to remember without looking it up. There there was definitely a third guy, though. Wasn't there? Am I just making that up? White Sox, Emma. With the Southsiders.
Right, Paul Wilson. Good job, Rex. Yeah, they they were talked about as as a potentially pretty amazing trio. Oh, there's the next autograph, and it's Evan White, rookie auto for Arthur, end of M's. I think it was Isringhausen that really had like a career, right? That lasted in baseball for a little while. Didn't he? Did he turn into a closer? Maybe he wasn't even closing until he was with the Cardinals, perhaps? Yeah, as a Cardinals closer, though, right? Post, post Mets? Cycle for him last night. Catch. Alec Baum die cut. Right, closer for the cards. Alec Bohm, Pascal with the Phillies. Comes another Cabrian Hayes. Jay Cronenworth, Chrome. It's a cool photo of Cabrian Hayes. Those big sunglasses. I don't know if that's a catch. I think this is a catch. I don't think that's not a catch. That cycle got 50 points for the guy you're going against yesterday. That's a. That's gonna wreck fantasy lineups. Can you imagine like the person on like DraftKings? You know the person who put Trey Young in the. Uh, I think that's a catch. Look at that. His eyes are very focused on the baseball right there. Person who put Trey Young in the uh, in the captain spot. Ooh, and a nice Cabrian Hayes box topper. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look how cool that is. Pirates Uni is classic as well. So that those uh, that will go to Heath and the Pirates. Right, Mike. Mike. Mike remembers Isringhausen was a, was with the Mets when he was stationed in New York City. Had a great rookie year. Well, then crapped out as a uh, crapped out as a starter. That's for sure. But then he reinvented himself as a closer. And was, uh, was pretty solid with the Cardinals as a closer. When, when did he even, I just looked him up, when did he start? He started actually closing with the A's. It looks like, yeah, didn't really do much with the Mets. I think he put together 27 starts in, in his second year, but only went 6-14. and 14. You know, didn't play in 98. I think came back in 99. Looks like he got traded to the A's and was, I think, Trying to be a closer, I think maybe the A's turned, converted him into a closer, and then he had 33 saves with the A's at age 27. 33 saves with the A's, 34 the next year. Looks like he got, and then with 22 with the Cardinals, had 47 saves in 2004. Then 39 the season after that, 33, 32, and by then he was in his mid 30s. 
I think that was that. But yeah, had had some really solid 30 save seasons for a good chunk of time. I think he even, well, it's kind of weird. I guess played 06, 07, 08, 09. Didn't play in 2010. And then came back in 2011 with the Mets and knocked out uh, knocked out seven saves for them in 15, uh, but in 53 games. He gave them like 46 innings that year and then went to the Angels. Didn't record a save, but gave them 45 innings that year. That's it. Yeah, below 500 record, right? And made over fifty million. Good for him. And we got Garrett Cole for the Yankees. Lone Star Signature Orange Parallel. Sounds cool. That'll be for Heath and the Yankees last spot mojo. Strikes again. Yeah, if you if you have kids who are who are gonna be future athletes, push them to baseball. <laughs> remember uh, remember Jeff Samarja was like a wide receiver or a tight end for Notre Dame or something like that? And and a Pretty good one, if I remember correctly. He chose baseball. And he hasn't really... He's had a decent career. But he's made a lot more money as a baseball player than I think he ever would have as a, as a football player. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice die cut for the Friars. Peter with the Padres. Casey Mize for the Tigers. That'll be for Jeff. Oh, Jeff Nansing, the that Garrett Cole's an out of five? Does Cardboard Connection have an image of what that looks like, by the way? I'd like to see what that looks like. Yeah, the Lone Star Orange Parallels are indeed out of five. So, Heath, out of fives and under, get the world-famous train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! It's a horse. So, hold on. I, I actually don't see... Oh, there it is. So, it'll kind of... I'm going to flip away for just a second here. It kind of looks like that, that, like that Acuna. That looks pretty sharp. I don't think I'll ever get, I think this card will always be funny to me. Because there's just so few things that'll make the babe look small. So he has to, of course he has to be holding a gigantic bat.
and that's our second autograph there, and it's going to be, ooh, nice, Trevor Rogers, rookie autograph for the Marlins, Craig with the fish. Nice, Ryan Mountcastle for Peter and the Orioles. Yeah, I think a majority of these are going to be on-card autos. Unless sometimes insert autos could be stickered. But for the for the other regular autos, they're generally all on-card. That's, that's one thing Topps is pretty good about. They, they make sure that the majority of their autos are, are as on-card as possible. All right, and we're going to... Close things out with, oh, with a members only, Aaron Judge. That generally, I think that's one per case, if my memory serves me correctly. Heath with the Yankees. That's a cool photo of Aaron Judge, too. Looks like he's sliding into, sliding into a base, some hustling, some dirt on his uniform. That's good. We like that. All right, and there's Zach Granke, and we got a Tariq Scooball. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So we got the members only, the Trevor Rogers autograph, some nice die cuts. All right, there's the John Cruck, and we started off with that Joey Bart one of one autograph. That's awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. That was 2021 Tops Stadium Club Baseball. Four box random team break number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.